What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cybercade Devlog. I've been really hard at work this week on some cool new features. <gasps> In all seriousness, I have been working on Cybercade quite a bit. I have incorporated my new melee enemy into a level that I've been working on. So you start out in this shack. You shoot your way through this door here. Because I want the first enemy set in each level to be something that doesn't shoot back at you, you should always be able to get your bearings and shoot your way through a door. You shoot your way out of the cabin, and then you go through this courtyard thing. You go around this tree. There's a whole bunch of enemy sets as you circle it. And eventually you get to this big gate. And when you get to the gate, this giant samurai guy over here is going to walk past the gate kind of ominously and maybe look at you. Still working on the animation part for that. But you shoot your way through the gate. And then after you get out of the gate, you find yourself on the street. Some drones fly out. I want to battle my way up the sort of sci-fi looking street that comes from the same set that I used for a lot of the original assets. And then have a couple little side battles in these alleyways down here. Before you eventually get to another gate and that giant samurai will be waiting for you on the other side. And then once you go through the gate, I want you to battle through this sort of zen garden thing. And I'll probably have a boss fight at the top of this hill. I've also continued to optimize my development workflow. I've got it so that I can just with one click of the mouse add an enemy to an enemy stage. So here I am in my level editor, I've got my player positions here, some enemies, and if I wanted to say put a rocket launcher grunt in there, you just click click, and there he's added into the enemy set. And I can also delete enemies from the set if I want to. I was getting really sick of having to put the headset on every single time I wanted to test anything, and also of having to go to the main menu every single time I wanted to play a level. So I fixed both of those problems. I can play directly in levels now, and I can use these first person shooter controls to not have to put on and take off my headset a million times a day. All of these improvements are aimed at speeding up the development of the game. I want to uh, spend as little time doing busy clicking work as possible, and, and every time I spend 10 minutes working on a level, I find myself a little dissatisfied with my process and want to do something or other to speed it up, even if it just means removing a couple of clicks from my workflow. Thanks for watching the Cybercade devlog. I'll see you next week when this level should be completed. Good luck on your own stuff.